right, guys, so when it comes to training biceps, you want to make sure you obviously want to hit mass and focus on the peak. Now, you cannot shape a muscle. A muscle is going to be shaped as genetically guided. However, you can optimize the muscle's look, of course, by just adding the most mass you can. Now, when they say things like target your peak, again, you're not actually shaping and formulating a peak that wasn't there before. So if you genetically do not have a peak, chances are you're going to be stuck with that for a long time. And, of course, it'll be difficult and the gains will be as fun to watch in your arms. However, I'm sure you have your other genetic strong points that will be fun to blow up because everybody has their strengths and weaknesses. However, one way to optimize your arm growth, specifically biceps, is single arm dumbbell preacher curls actually at a 90 degrees angle, also known as spider curls. This is where you can either use um, the double sided preacher curl bench if you have one available. If you don't, simply set up a bench like a shoulder pressing bench and come around the back of it. All right, now what this is going to do by having your arm straight up and down is going to allow gravity to play full effect on the arm, giving you full contraction, full extension, full stretch, 100% optimization of the actual weight that you are curling, and it's going to allow you to get a full range of motion and completely smash that bicep. So the key with biceps is just a small muscle, is a squeeze at the top and a real slow negative on the way down. That's what's going to cause bicep growth. So. Take the dumbbell, a couple things to remember. One, have your wrist suffinated so your pinky is up slightly higher than all your other knuckles. This is gonna activate the full range of motion in the actual bicep. Secondly, make sure your, your palm is actually flat with your wrist. The more you curl inward, the more it's gonna start working your forearm, but take away from your bicep at the same time. It's gonna actually help the curl a little bit and you don't wanna do that. Your forearm will get worked either way by su simply suffinating. So, Take the forearm out of it as much as you can, really focus and isolate that bicep. And thirdly, you want to make sure your arm is twisted as far backwards away from your body as possible. I even twist my body a little bit so my arm's almost straight. What this is going to do is allow the inner head of your bicep to really get in there for that full mass effect. And of course, since it's a pressure curl, you'll be hitting your outer head as well and really working on the peak of that bicep, that mountaintop. Your bicep's split into two heads, and it's that outer head of the bicep that's going to come over the top of the bicep and make that mountain-like peak that Arnold Schwarzenegger had. So, obviously, keeping your arm flat, keeping your wrist flat is going to target both heads optimally. Remember, guys, close grip, hands facing inward, will hit the outer side of your bicep. Hands facing outward, will hit the inner side of your bicep. So this is a perfect happy medium to hit both.